in the previous video we put in uh, the concrete precast concrete panels here uh, just to show a different type of system that's uh, becoming more and more common and then let's zoom in so that yeah so that it covered up and then we put a, a two inch topping deck on top of that now we're going to do kind of a conventional uh, roofing system and the conventional roofing system will look something like this right here I'm going to bring this over this is from buildingscience.com pretty good website for uh, technically how to construct buildings and put them together and you'll see the metal decking right here and then there's some kind of sheathing uh, this can be a range of different things uh, different people use different things it can be uh, a, a gypsum board a gypsum what not, not board but a gypsum sheathing uh, it can be OSB uh, depends on the uh, designer and then you'll see there's a thermal uh, air control layer right here in blue and then there's some kind of thermal insulation and then we got a cover board this might be OSB this might be plywood sheathing this might be some kind of dual rock or something like that and then there's a, a roof membrane and this is kind of your conventional you notice there's no concrete involved here it's just sheathing uh, insulation and sheathing basically and then your roof if we were going to have it this roof like we are actually in our project then we probably would take this a little bit differently but we're going to do the conventional first and how I say the reason I say that is because we're going to have a lot more weight on top of this roof if we've got occupants uh, we may have flower beds furniture barbecue pits who knows what we're going to put up here much like a, a conventional floor so if we were going to do this then the engineer would probably have us build a, a concrete and metal deck first uh, just like our other floors and then we would put uh, the air control barrier on it we would put the uh, thermal insulation and then a cover board to protect the uh, thermal insulation when people walked around on it and then uh, a roofing membrane and then of course uh, some kind of uh, protective roofing system uh, that would protect uh, the actual waterproofing membrane so we're going to do this though right now we're going to do the conventional and you can do for your project the more unconventional and to do that we're going to go into structure and it, you'll see that there are roofing systems but they're usually for uh, pitched roofs and that kind of stuff uh, for this roof what I'm going to do is use just another floor system now you, you can use the roofing system too uh, but I'm just going to use another floor system and I'm going to make it structural okay. and then I'm going to go in and select uh, this lightweight concrete on two inch metal deck that we used previously but this is not what we're going to do if I go in here and edit the type uh, and go into the structure and do a preview okay we're going to see that the metal deck is here it doesn't look anything like this right here right uh, and so we wanted to make it look like this so I'm going to rename it I'm going to cancel out of this and I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to call this uh, roof and uh, we'll just call it roof uh, metal deck metal deck and insulation and since we have to be at an R36 uh, or something like that, I'm just going to say R36 so that we know. I'll put a dash in here so that there's R36 of insulation in there, and we know that. So we're going to go in here to structure. And our metal deck, that's fine. Uh, it's already been defined as 2 inches. We'll accept that. Uh, is what it is. The next level up, as we talked about, is uh, the, sh the sheathing, a sheathing layer right here. And so we're going to make this a sheathing layer. And it will be a part of the structure of the structural deck. So I'm going to go ahead and include it as a structural element. And then I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to go uh, pick a sheathing. 
uh, I'll just pick OSB. Uh, there, there we go. Oriented strand board. There's none found in my current, uh, but it searched also my libraries and it found an oriented st uh, strand board right here. So I'm just going to click on the little arrow. That's going to add it to my current material list. And these all look good appearance, graphics. Um, so forth. So I'm going to apply that. Say OK. And now we've got oriented strand board in there. The next thing we're going to do is then add, um, I think it was an air control layer. Yes, an air control layer right there. So we're going to say insert. And, and this is not going to be structural. This is actually going to be a thermal air layer. Okay. Or not a thermal air layer. That's not what we want. We want a membrane layer. Okay, is that right? Yes. And here we're just going to go to, um, let's see, uh, there you go, air infiltration barrier. That'll do it. And yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And this will probably have some kind of depth. I don't know if we want to include that or not. You know, it's, it's going to be in the mils, uh, thousands of a mil, uh, a milliliter, millimeter, uh, or it might be, I take that back, two or three millimeters thick, uh, probably the most of 30 seconds of an inch. So we can, we'll just add it in. Quit debate, not over, just add it in. So there's, there's a membrane ladder, uh, air, air infiltration barrier. And then on top of that, uh, well, and actually that's not part of the structure. So what we're going to do is up that out of the structure or the core boundary. Okay. And now we're going to insert another layer, which is going to be the insulation. And so this is going to be a, uh, I think it would be referred to as a substrate. And we're going to go, uh, I think, rigid insulation. What do we get? Yeah, there's a rigid insulation right there. Uh, we could make us a polystyrene insulation or whatever, but uh, the rigid insulation, that'll work fine. We've got a, a, a good crosshatch, you know. So I'm going to say OK to that. And uh, you'll notice that the insulation, you know, goes down into that and that's not what we want so I'm gonna go back to my metal deck because we want it to sit on top and say standalone above the layer okay so now the rigid insulation is above it uh, oh I've got this oriented strand board and it should be a half inch not okay and then of course our rigid insulation should be like six six inches uh, six times five is uh, 30 uh, it's an R5 per inch right so if this is five inches five times five is 25 30 uh, and it'll be close to well it'll take eight inches to get to an R40 so I'm just going to say eight inches. Accept uh, that, and we got a lot of uh, insulation up here. The next thing we're going to put on top of that, uh, as we said here, is thermal insulation—not uh, thermal insulation, uh, cover board. We'll just use our OSB again. So uh, there's our OSB, and in this case, it's not going to be a structural element. It's going to be a finish. So we're going to go insert oh, finish one, okay, and finish one is going to be once again OSB, and we'll say okay, and it should be a half an inch.
So we've got our OSB, we've got our insulation, we've got our OSB again, we've got a thermal layer in there that's a 30 seconds of an inch. And then we have uh, the next is our roofing, our roofing material, our waterproofing material. So we're going to put a roof membrane in here. And once again, we're going to go in here, uh, insert another. This will be now another the next finish, which will be. And they don't have a TPO, but they do have an EPDM, which, yeah, this works fine. Uh, we could rename this if we wanted to. Um, is there physical properties? No, they don't have any physical. They got some thermal properties in it. So if we did, we want to make sure that these thermal properties match the actual material. As far as you know, it says uh, uh, electrical resistivity, density, those specific heat, and those kind of things. Uh, but one thing I am going to change in it is I'm going to make this a cool roof. And so this really mid gray isn't is too dark from the roof that I want. So I'm going to go into the shading pattern and up this to somewhere around to uh, 233 will do good. That's almost white. And then appearance, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, in appearance, I'm going to change the color and up this once again to uh, to let's see if I can get the same color 234. Uh, nobody will know. And I'm going to apply and say OK. And now we have our EPDM, and it's not zero in thickness. I'm just going to make it a 30 second too, which will make the total of the two 30 seconds a quarter of an inch, right? Uh, give it some th thickness. And now I'm going to say, OK. So here's my deck. Here's what I was shooting for, a little bit more insulation. But steel deck, steel deck, uh, sheathing, sheathing, uh, our air control layer, you can barely see it in there, our thermal insulation, uh, another deck, decking, and then our roofing, which you can barely see too. Okay, so we're going to say okay to that. Uh, and it says membrane layer uh, function requires a thickness of a zero. Okay. So this can't be a membrane layer, and I was wrong. It's going to be a thermal air layer, okay? And so it'll it'll accept it now. Should I'm just going to seed ascend from the core vein to the finished phase? Oh, this is a substrate. I put this in as a substrate, and so what we're going to do is make this a thermal layer, okay? So we got a uh, a thermal layer and a air infiltration layer. Okay, and we're going to say okay to that now. Um, substrate and structure, I forgot, all have to be within the core boundary because they're both considered structural type materials. So we're going to say okay to that. Looks great. It's 11 and 1 16th inches thick. We might want to remember that. 11 and 1 16th inches. We're going to say okay. And so now we're going to put our roof in. And to do that, uh, we're already in the right mode, but we're in the wrong view. So I'm going to close this out. Oh, that's the last view. I don't want to do that. So let's open a structural top of roof view. There we go. And we're going to set the boundaries. I'm going to put this on medium. And for right now, I'm just going to run the roof from, just like I did the other roofs, from out there at the column all the way to here. And we may want to edit that in later as we get more detail in, but we won't worry about it now. And we can see our little logs up here. And we'll go ahead and lock it in case I move something. Uh, this didn't, a lock didn't appear here, so that means we probably are not aligned. So I'm going to come in here and align to this, this, and now our lock appears, so we know it's aligned. That's cool. Oh, I didn't go all the way down. So what I'm going to do is go align, and I'm going to align to the outside edge of the beam. 
oh no, hit escape, align, there we go, outside edge of the beam to this line, it says it's unlocking, it's removing the constraint, fine, remove constraint, and then I'm going to lock it to that, so now we're in good shape. Uh, the steel decking, our joists are going to be running this way, so we want our steel jacking to run this way, and you'll notice that our span direction is correct, so we don't need to move the span direction. We're going to say OK. And now if we go into our, our section, uh, this is, and we go up here, what happened? Uh-oh, I was on the long level, or I had too big an offset. Okay, so this really belongs on, oh, top of curb. No, we don't want that there. This is a good example. So, okay, I made a mistake. Fine. I'm just going to move it to the top of the roof and say apply that. It's going to disappear from there. And now if we go up here, sure enough, there it is, top of the roof. So there's our, our, our decking now. And this was 11 and... I think 11 and 1 16th inch because we're going to need to know that to put our beams in uh, because I need to go 11 and 16th inches down from the finished roof or the top of the roof. So let's go back WT here. We'll go back into our plan and we're going to put our beams in now. Okay, we'll just leave that for, there for right now. That's okay. And we're going to do uh, beams. And we'll just use our 12 inch beams that we were using before the wide flange. Okay. We could make some longer beams if, or, or larger girders if we want, but right now we're just going to stay with a 12 6. And uh, we'll set them on the grid. So we're going to select here. Oh, the next thing we need to make sure our depth's correct. Okay. So I'm going to escape out of that and make sure. Aha, uh -huh, and it is not. Okay. So minus 11 and space 1 16th that looks good we're going to apply it and now we're going to put some beams in so we're going to put beams here and some of you might be going uh, well, maybe oh yeah there's our grid lines beams Hmm, something's not showing. I'm going to escape out of this. Or let's finish. Okay, see, none of the elements are visible. So, why is that? Oh, because I'm on the top of... Okay, we need to undo this. I'm on the wrong view. Uh, no, there's top of roof. Uh... I don't know why those beams are not showing, but I'm going to undo them anyway. So I'm going to go back to my 3D view. And this is a good example that, you know, sometimes you just make a mistake. So I'm going to undo. Oh, there they were. For some reason they were. Oh, it put it down at 11 feet. That's what it did. Okay, so it was putting them way down there. Let's, uh, take a view here yeah see there they are right there okay and that's not where we want them for sure uh, so we can just do this and say hey move this baby up uh, delete 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 uh, apply no it's still at 11 feet I need to get the zero out of there. Apply. And that's where I want it. And I'll do the same thing here. So this is a good example of how you can just edit, find out what's wrong. Okay, so now those beams are there. And let's go back in and make the rest of them. So I'm going to WT here so I can find my roof view. And so we've got these beams here. Right there and right there. Uh, 
they're, they're being covered up by this uh, roofing system I put in so I'm going to select that and just say hide it okay so I'm going to hide in view elements and that way I'm going to be able to see my beams as I'm putting them in so let's go back to beams uh, 12, 26 on grids select control 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 oh let's undo that once again I forgot to check my depth so uh, beams check my depth right here delete 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 there we go apply 11 and 1 16th inches that is what I want on grids select 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 okay got them finish and, and if I go back into my section here I think I was I'm going to escape out that function go back into my section yeah there's my beams there's my decking everything's fine but now I need joist in here and we know once we add the joist that we're gonna have to drop the beams down uh, I mean I'm sorry not the beams but the girders down to pick up the joist so let's go in here back to this 3d view and I'm on that side I'm gonna click over here I'll just click over to this side because this is where I've been working from and add joist so uh, let's go to structural roof top of roof there we go right there um, and we're going to do that as a beam system just like we did before oh cancel and we're going to add down here uh, the K 12 inch K bar joist four foot uh, this is going to be minus 11 and 1 16th inches right because that's is right underneath our um, metal deck that works and automatic we're going to select there boom there boom there boom and there boom uh, let's check we'll hit escape we'll check our section here and we just put in the joist and as we can see the girders right here are not where they should be they should be down so that the joists are sitting on top of it and so I'm going to measure the distance from the top of the roof down to there and so let's measure it should be 11 sixteenths plus two and a half inches so let's see if that's what we measure here so I'm going to grab here and go all the way down to there and that's one foot nine and one foot one inch and nine sixteenths okay so one foot one and nine sixteenths so what I'm going to do is do a modify I'm going to uh, grab those girders just by doing a cross selection and hold a control T down do it again and then I'm going to go down here and Oops, got to keep the. Uh, uh, let's do it again now. Selection, control, selection, down here. And this is going to be one foot, one inch, and nine sixteenths. And that looks correct. I'm going to apply that.
and it should have been negative. Okay, so I'm going to come in here, put a negative sign in, and hit apply. And if I look, sure enough, now my joists are sitting on top of my beam. Okay, and my roofing system uh, is finished until I'm I get some envelope in there and start changing it. So this is kind of a stopping point. We've got all of our structure in. Uh, we've got all of our primary structure, all of our secondary structure, and tertiary structure. Uh, we've got foundations in, and all of our basement walls, retaining walls. And so we're going to make a presentation uh, of what we have to this point in our next video.